so much for having me, guys. My name is Mike Perkins. Uh, I, I know Zoom's kind of weird. I know everyone's kind of being like, what's the Zoom you're talking about and all this stuff? And how do I turn my mic on? Am I here yet? Am I here? But uh, I wanted to make it easy for you guys because sometimes maybe the laughs are like a little delayed and stuff. So I made a little sign for you. So, so just, you know, just whenever you want to know, just clap it up. <laughs> just laugh. Have a good time. Sit back, relax, and laugh. <laughs> Uh, Zoom has Zoom really has revolutionized, I think, how we kind of connect with each other, uh, sitting in quarantine or wherever else at, because you can't go out. Um, they actually, I don't know if you've seen this article, but they actually have, they have Zoom escape rooms now. Yeah, I'm going to say that again. They have Zoom <laughs> escape rooms. Zoom <laughs> escape rooms. They have okay. that on Zoom now. At least that's what you call every family meeting that turns into politics. So uh, <laughs> that's, uh, you know. What's that? Grandma just said the N-word? Okay, yeah, I think this meeting's over. I think we're done <laughs> with that. Uh, my uncle's like, you believe in this black square stuff? I'm like, okay, I think we've had enough of this. I think uh, we've done we've done the damage. Uh, but yeah, my name, once again, is Mike Perkins, um, and I'm a lovable guy from Jersey. Give it up, huh? East Coast Woo! Italian guy? Yeah. Woo and I'm half Italian, so on my mom's side, you know, a good half if she's watching right now, a good half. Uh, I like to consider myself Italian light, you know, because I'm uh, half Italian, but uh, same great taste. You know what I mean? You know, <laughs> but, uh, half the bada and all the bing, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's the, good, the good side of it all. The good. I'm like if Christopher from Sopranos actually finished out all those acting classes, you know what I mean? If he just, <laughs> you know, stuck it out instead of beating the shit out of the guy at <laughs> the thing. Chris from Sopranos, deep cut, deep cut, 2006, guys, 2006. I actually met, I used to do valet out here in LA and uh, I met Michael Imperioli, uh, Christopher Sopranos. And uh, I got to meet him and I was so nervous to go up to him and like talk to him. And I had to go up and I was like, hey man, I'm, I'm such a big fan, you know, it's, it's awesome to meet you. And he gave me this advice that I'll, I'm, I take to heart all the time. I think about it all, every day. And he said, oh, thanks man. Can you bring my car around? <laughs> just, right here. Just hit me right here. You know what I mean? Because in life, you got to bring your car around. You know, that's what you got to do in life sometimes. I uh, just turned 34. Yeah. Yes, just turned it. Just turned it. Had a birthday. I'm getting some grays in right now. I had to do just for men for the first time. <laughs> yeah, just had to do it for the virtual Zoom. Still got the dad bod. You can't see that. But, you know, I'm just, I got the grays. Roy's showing off my two 401ks. I had to get rid of them. The girls were just kind of <laughs> contacting me for that one. But I had a weird birthday. I had a weird, uh, follow me with this. I, I think Facebook is ruining birthdays. Are you with me on this one? I, I think Facebook is ruining birthdays for us all. Because it's no longer like birthdays aren't special anymore for you. It's always like people come out of the woodwork that you haven't talked to in like 10 years. You know what I mean? And they wish you a happy birthday, you know? Like, it's like, oh my God, happy birthday. I'm so glad you're killing it in LA. And I'm like, oh, thank you so much for cheating on me 10 years ago. Thank you. For doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're doing great. You know, like, what, what do you say to that? You know, but I had a weird one. My, my ex-girlfriend, she didn't send me a birthday message. She sent me a page request. And it was a page request for her new realtor page because she's becoming a realtor. Yeah, isn't that cute? She's becoming a realtor during all this. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, have fun. Have fun with that. But uh, it was weird. But I, I still like the page and stuff. I had her like in a suit. And it's like, I'll have you in the home by the weekend, you know. And I was proud of her. You know, I want to be supportive. And it's cool that she's selling homes now. Because when we were together, she was so used to wrecking them. No. So. <laughs> 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 yeah, just kidding. Uh, but no, I'm glad we're all safe. We're doing a thing with the coronavirus. Uh, I don't know if you've seen this, though. Uh, you know, a couple of weeks ago, they, they found out this new symptom of the coronavirus where if you have it, if you have the, the virus, you can start to smell like rotting meat from coffee. Oh. Yeah. Isn't that weird? This came at a really bad time for Starbucks to release their new Meat Lovers Macchiato. So, uh, <laughs> bad for Starbucks. <laughs> bad, bad time for Starbucks. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll leave you guys with this. Uh, any Cardi B fans in the crowd? What a weird, what a weird segue from everything I just said. <laughs> you guys like Cardi B? Can we pull up WAP on the screen share, please? <laughs> but uh, this is this is my impression of Adam Sandler singing a Cardi B song. Are you guys ready for this one? All right. Y'all can mess with me if you wanted to. This is expensive. This is red bottom. This is uh, guys. Thank you so much. My name is Mike. Bergen. Give it up for everybody you've seen tonight, and I'll uh, see you guys soon. Perfect. A Boston Comedy Festival, baby. <laughs> Woohoo!